92 was one of the worst things ever. 93, one of the best. Closing out this trilogy of royal varieties, what awaits us with 1994? All we know going in is, it shares a director with Fist of Fun, Most Haunted, and Ricky Gervais's last Netflix special. The Children's Royal is now in its 13th year. Children's Royal? Bit over familiar. How many of you endured Turner? Less than me. As always, it's in aid of the NSPCC. But to continue that work, they need £43 million. Pounds. What do you expect me to do about it? Gonna need a few more views before I can stretch to that. Alright, Princess Margaret, mate. Mr Michael Lego, Head of Light Entertainment for BBC Television. And genuinely, the man who created Mr Blobby. There's an early hint of this year's genre from the orchestra pit. Incidentally, did you know there's actually lyrics to this? John Luke Picard's having fun Cause he's flying around space with all of his charms Right, let's flip the Royal Variety coin. Stage school kids or Billy Pierce? Call it. Oh, piss. No, come on, give it a chance. Look at this place, it's well wicky! This is Game Boy Heaven! <sighs> Let's explore! But what if someone finds us? Don't be soft, this place has been deserted for years! This year's Hello Governor performances are spread out over a whole gang. A Goonies like mob who've happened upon a strange device. How could this old thing be dangerous? Someone needs to corral these urchins. Someone wholly representative of 1994's celebrity scene. Whoa, whoa, what's going on? What do you think you're doing here? The stage school what pumped this lot out should be condemned. But what is this place? We thought it was deserted. Who's the professor? Who are you? And what's this? In exposition, we learn it's the lab of Professor Daniel Maguire, exciting sci-fi name, of whom Day's an apprentice in the science of time travel. So this is a... A time machine! Brilliant, bags first go! Yeah, let's go and catch a caveman! Whoa, whoa, hold on a second. Where would Darren Day go if he had a real time machine? Ideally, back to stash David Guest's real corpse under the sheets for himself to find. As a joke. Even more than normal, this is a show of lengthy medleys. Which is why you put a multi-talent like Day at the helm. To travel in time is like standing on a shore. History in 3D, the world at your door. To Let's take a second here to admire his crew. Mad Max meets Back to the Future 2. And unpause. But these things just keep going, running six, seven, eight minutes, all with the desperate energy of someone who's won more failed audition from homelessness. We can die with kings or fight at Waterloo! If nothing else, at least you can finally say you've seen Dave Benson Phillips in an old fashioned flying suit. For any pub quizzes out there, the first man on the moon was PC Tony Stamp off the bill. 
I'm not getting in a time machine with Darren Day. Daz, we're here to prevent Gandhi's assassination. Stop setting it to the 90s to have sex with actresses. In this magical, fantastical, truly wonderful, flying time machine. The professor gives us one of those wonderful royal variety cameos. I'm very sorry, I've had enough. I've had the end of my patience. I'm afraid you must pack your bags and go. You're no longer a trainee professor. Ouch! <laughs> and then a more predictable appearance, given the era. Number two, could you please come in? <laughs> Thankfully, Blobby knows a repairman. Hold the phone, take it over there. Ah, oh, here you are! Tricky Mickey Tame Travel Technician at your service! Disappointingly for an audience clearly expecting a big name like Davro or Matthew Kelly, it's long-haired Geordie comic Mickey Hutton off Hangar 17. Coincidentally, Hutton wrote this show. While it's being mended, Mickey gives Darren a holographic entertainment system to keep him occupied. Just press a button, yeah. and a top performing hologram appears. You're gonna love this. He's just gonna watch porn through it. 90s porn. Computer, play Joe Guest getting her whappers out. No, no, Lindsay Dawn McKenzie. Seen the size of them? Oh, it's just a juggler. The hologram functions as a way to get the musical acts in, without breaking storyline kayfabe. Please welcome Eternal. Eternal were choreographed by the girls in your class who made up dance routines during lunch. Bad Boys Inc. cannot be found on Company's house, which is a clear breach of regulations. The annual boring slash trippy ballet bits hologrammed in too. Put it away, will ya? Nineteen eighty eight Opportunity Knox winner Mike Doyle gives a textbook light entertainment walk on. Oh, yeah. When you're not a big name, you've really got to go hard on establishing your catchphrase. An adventure through time, flipping heck. Do you see that time machine flipping heck? Do you want another smack? Oh, yes, please, ma'am. I went... <laughs> <laughs> what do kids like, anyway? Beatboxing. That could be a number one. Flippin' heck. <laughs> Right, where should we go? I know, let's go into the future. We'll have ray guns and everything. May the force be with you. Never thought I'd say this, but can we not go back in time to two years ago? But haven't you just wanted to meet someone bad? Someone, someone above the law. Just check the cast list. I'm sure there's a few yew trees backstage. But they loved him. Bugs him. Looks like 92 came to us. We could have been anything that we wanted to be. But don't it make your heart glad? It's not as good as the original, by which I mean when Dick and Dom in the bungalow did it. 
This and Oliver are the absolute zenith of stage school horrors. I can't show the rest. As for the ending shootout, someone accidentally switched the gunge for real bullets. Awful, really. Poor Wayne Dobson never got over it. Thank you. Before going any further, I'd like to point out, and secondly, <laughs> secondly, I'd like to say this to you all, this. I can't go through this again. I can't. Your name is? Ray. Oh, Ray. And your first name? Ray. Oh, Ray Ray. Now, Ray Ray, what? Is that Trump? Haircut on this child volunteer, though. And have a guess. Go on, go on, have a guess at what his trick is. I have three pieces of rope. I have three pieces of rope. I have a small one. I have a small one. I have a medium one. I have a medium one. I'll take the long one if it's going, thanks. And all three. And all three. Become. Become. The same. The same. Length. The l length. <laughs> If you think you're going to save the show with a classic everyone stood in a line bumps into each other when the first one stops, you're sorely mistaken. I know where we could go, we could go to, what about... Um, hold on a second. Next, we're back in time to the Old West. From a town known as Wheeling, West Virginia Who's playing Billy the Kid? The way it's going, probably Levi Belfield. <laughs> yes! Fuck yes! Here we go! You stupid, stupid, stupid off! How many more times have I got to tell you about stopping like that? Hey! You can hang a horse! Oh, yes, you can! He's a must hang! <laughs> Great pop culture meetups number one. <laughs> well, I ain't jumping. I wasn't talking to you, you big streak of best back bacon. I've had dreams like this. I mean, specifically, Billy Pierce having a fight with Hunter of Gladiators. <laughs> Wait a minute, that wasn't in the script. You just, you just, 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 just. Barkeep! Can you help me out? This guy's everywhere, all through time. Is he meant to be God like in Quantum Leap? So how are you aiming to pay for it, wise guy? Can't you put it on the bill? Definitely not seeing this as a showcase to land some of that big panto money. I'll have you know, I just finished cleaning up Dodge City! AI needs to hurry up and reach the point I can flawlessly insert Billy Pierce into the Three Amigos. And let that be a lesson to you. Right! Right! Are you incinerating that I smell? Just squirt it in my mouth, will you? Wayne Dobson probably wanted pistols at dawn hearing this from the wings. Write this down, right? This. The. I, th. In the course of making these, I've come to realise the greatest unsung performer of the 90s was Billy Pierce. He may have never had his own series, but this man always throws himself into it, lifting the quality of everything he touches. And I'm calling for a Pierce reappraisal. There he goes. This bit might not even be part of the show. Attention please! Attention please! Shane Ritchie has escaped from custody and is believed to be in this building. For a minute I thought PC unit there was Eddie Large. But not this year. Though we do get this. Order! Order! Um, Shane the legend Ritchie Milan. 
He is there to make a clean environment for which to bring up bring up our children. He Today's TikTok generation don't understand the old speaking like a fast forwarding VCR routine. It's woke gone mad. <laughs> Unfortunately, all that police stuff was just a preamble to. Number 47 said to number three, you're the cutest child bird I ever did see. But then they found out what number 47 was in for and threw boiling hot sugar in his face. Any mods on Facebook pages about remembering the good old past take notes from Mickey's banter. That's the problem, you see. What? Kids haven't got proper toys now. None of this modern stuff, you know, things like Transformers, robots in disguise. It's 1994, Mick. I swear, his hairline gets further back every scene. Time they get to the curtain call, he'll be looking like Hulk Hogan. You know that ballet we had? Well, as part of the deal, here's the comedy version. By now, even for the best of us, the novelty of Blobby showing up in everything is wearing thin. I'm sick of the monkey. I want the organ grinder. Well then. The man himself. It's like when Johnny Depp showed up on The Fast Show, or Thatcher on Saturday Superstore. At this point, House Party's so massive, they basically let him do a mini-episode. Oh, more sad news. Ah. <laughs> it's a terrible act it is. <laughs> Knowles brought his gunge tank along. I want to make it possible for you to gunge the people that you love most. Sorry, Billy. Your teachers. Just a quick reminder of who's backstage at that very moment. What can you do? It's Edmunds. In 94 he could have told people he made all my videos and there'd have been nothing I could have done to stop him. But it could be a great way of the schools of the United Kingdom raising a lot of money for the NSPCC and I will give you an address after the show that you can write to for the Gunge Plunge. It seems like this did happen as a legitimate fundraising arm of the NSPCC under the Gunge Plunge initiative as I found one mention in a newspaper from that year and a LinkedIn account for the former administrator of Gunge Plunge. All the other search results are slime fetishists getting off on Gungy teachers. Are you a teacher who got Gunge Plunged? A pupil who saw it happen? Let me know in the comments. But not if you're one of those lads, please. Anyway, if Noel tried to leave the Palladium tonight without giving a real live Gunging, they'd have burned him. It's about as much use as a letter opener in your fan club office. <laughs> it's him off That's Life. Hello, a talking doorstop. Oh, I love the jacket. Where'd you get it? Mother care. Have you finished? Wasn't it weird how Noel just co-opted all of Ronnie Corbett's jokes about I'm only little. Just did whatever he wanted. <laughs> This is a quintuple gunging, the cast of Blue Peter, sadly just too late for the comedy of having John Leslie there, but Anth giving a great gunged face, and then Palladium perennial Frank Bruno. Last time we saw Darren Day in one of these, he was just another act, but even as the lead, he's still got time for his impressions of other people's impressions. Prepare to be amazed and astonished. Now you're going to like this, but not a lot. Don't believe it. Good grief, it actually works. Oh, all right, right all right, right, Rodney, lovely, jubbly and all that. There's time, Celia. I love time travelling. Yo, where can we go now, Jimmy? There was, there was me, the, uh, the wonder from down under, Mr Jason Donovan. Have you got any bills to pay? 
You've just won yourself 10 grand, matey. The one <laughs> and the only. Mr. Is he in? Mr. Philip Schofield. He even showcases some in this year's bit from a West End musical. I wonder which it will be. Something like um, Joseph and the Amazing Technicolor Dreamcoat. <laughs> Joseph's been at more royal varieties than Princess Margaret. Of course, Darren himself has worn the big coat. But with a time machine, we can imagine what might have happened if they'd cast it ten years ago. Who'd have been old Joseph, eh? The one and the only, Mr. Cliff Richard. Hi, fans. <laughs> I close my eyes, draw back the curtain. Mr. David Essex, here he comes. A crash of drums, yeah, the flash of light. Where does Benny from Crossroads fit into all this? Kojak, Frank Spencer. Mr. Max Vibrates. May I return you? I want to tell you a story. Joseph in a different. Yes, even worse than normal. The kids who went missing when they became surplus to the script are back. We saw Napoleon, Henry VIII, Leonardo da Vinci, and lots more. Yeah. Oh, and something we did accidentally caused what will come to be known in this splinter timeline as 9/11. Turns out the butterfly effect is real. Ain't that a palaver? What did Walt have on Margaret that you can't go one year without the Disney bit? Perhaps she's the one demanding it. If there's no duck, Darren's off to the tower. I want to be where the people are. I want to see, want to see them dancing. If you missed this one when they did it two years ago, enjoy. Although, to be fair, they never had DBP in 1992. Noel's probably in Dave's dressing room rifling through his notebook for ideas. They'll never be as quiet or eat as in regards to After last year's Billy Pierce Aladdin Tour de Force, this is like spitting right in my face. I can show you the world. Show yourself to the door first. At the curtain call, where we're left to digest the last two hours, the way the camera falls on performers is reminiscent of seeing the faces of old bullies leering out of the darkness when you can't sleep. Bravo! Bravo! In lieu of the big check, this year Maggie's been given 10,000 Microsoft points to spend as she wishes in the Xbox Live store. The size of that envelope though, it's like a paper coffin. Darren gets the cheers. Hip hip! This shows where Marvel got the idea of extra little scenes at the end from. And so the curtain comes down on another highly successful children's royal variety performance. And if you'd like your school involved in the gunge plunge... Thankfully, we still get the handshakes. A rise Sir Pierce has a nice ring to it, don't you think? Cheers, pal. <laughs>